Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've had a lot of followers asking me, please do a cruelty-free makeup look. So this is it, what I've got in here. It's a lovely, clean, cruelty-free, ethical makeup look. If you guys do like my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm gonna jump straight in with Bare Minerals. Now this brand is very ethical, they're cruelty free. They've got some amazing products. They've got skincare, they've got makeup, they are amazing. So this moisturizer is called Good Hydrations. I love it, love the name. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna jump straight in and smooth it all over my skin. It's got a nice, silky, smooth texture to it and you can feel it hydrating your skin straight away, hence the name, love it. And my skin just feels really soft and supple. Okay, now I'm excited for this one. So this is Trini London. Not many people know of Trini London, amazing brand. They've just come out with a BFF Distress Serum. So basically I have used this before and I was lucky enough to collaborate with Trini London. So these serums are fantastic because they basically distress the skin and they give a lovely metallic glow and it actually lasts all day. And I'm not just saying that because I have actually used it and I've tried it out. So they have 12 stretchable shades, which is perfect. So shade for everybody. Um, I'm using Francesca and guess what? You can actually use this alone if you wanted to because it's kind of like a tinted, um, moisturizer or tinted foundation it's really light but it just really helps to even out your skin tone and it gives you amazing glow and you always pop it over a moisturizer but you can actually wear this alone can you see it's just really giving me a nice even skin tone and it's given me a glow at the same time okay so for my base I'm going to use Huda Beauty now, I actually didn't even know that their products were cruelty free. Maybe because they're so fancy, you know, Huda's known for their really contoured, really sexy glam. But I am happy to know that they are cruelty free. I haven't actually used this foundation before. So this one is Nutmeg and this is the Flawless high coverage cream foundation so i'm gonna pop this nutmeg on the back of my hand i'm gonna get a little kabuki brush and i'm just gonna swirl it over my skin so this is the first time i'm using it let's see how i get on with this the color is really lovely so far and yep you can see the quality on this it's got a lovely texture and it's got really good coverage it's not too heavy it looks like a buildable star foundation and I like the smell because it's really natural. I hate products with too much perfume in it. So I am impressed with this one so far. Well done Huda. Right, I never know whether to do my brows first or my eyeshadow first. Anyway, it doesn't actually matter, you know. <laughs> um, I think I'll do my eyebrows first. So I'm going to use this amazing brand, KVD Vegan Beauty. Need to get it right. It used to be Kat Von D, um, but she sold the company. So now you need to say KVD Vegan Beauty. And this is 100% a vegan brand. I've only recently started to use their products and I find them amazing. Um, I like quite a glam look and I've noticed that a lot of their products are super glam. I mean, Kat Von D is super glam. So, you know, it's only fitting that she's gonna produce products that are super glam. So this is called Walnut and this is a lovely eye pencil. And I didn't show you that bit. It's got the spoolie on the back, which I've just brushed my eyebrows up before I put the pencil through it. Now it's a gorgeous, dark, kind of like a blacky brown color. I don't like a black brows, as I've mentioned in previous tutorials. I just think it looks too harsh. So if you're my sort of complexion or darker, try to go with an off black color rather than black. Just because the hair on your head is black doesn't mean you need to go jet black you don't want to just see your brows when you enter a room you want to see the whole face okay so I'm literally just swiping it up and it's really nice and natural and that's what I like I like natural looking brows so once I've done that I can go back in on the other end and then just brush 
the product through. I'll just do the other brow. I am now going to use this amazing palette right here, Urban Decay's Stoned Vibes Palette. I love it. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely brand new. They've got some amazing shades right here, but I am going to keep the look really natural because I just felt like it. Cruelty free, vegan, clean style vibes suit clean style makeup so i'm going to go into this gorgeous chocolatey color called hex right there and i'm just going to use a little eyeshadow brush um it's a mid-toned chocolate brown and i'm just going to swipe it on to my lids only it's got a gorgeous sort of brick brown shade i love it and i'm just gonna just make sure i get into all my nooks and crannies got quite deep set eyes so I need to make sure I really swipe that color on just do this side quickly I love Urban Decay because yes they're cruelty free but their palettes are amazing they really do know what they're doing they've got like loads and loads of truckloads of palettes you know they've got all the naked palettes loads of different colors I do love color and the pigment is amazing and it actually suits everyone. Right, I'm gonna now go into this color, <laughs> I like the name, it's called Third Eye. So it's a similar family of Hex, the, the chocolatey brown one that I've used, a little bit darker. I always like to go a little bit darker once I do the outer corners of my eye. Always use another brush for that. And this color is kind of a mulberry, kind of like a purpley brick color. If you know what I mean? Am I making sense to you? Anyway, I'm literally just swiping it on the outer corners of my eyes just to give it a little bit more depth. It is wonderful. Let me just do that side. And it just really gives my eyes a nice mid-toned, deepened effect. Okay, following on from doing the top lids, I'm actually gonna go underneath. Now I'm gonna mirror the effect. So I'm gonna go in with third eye. So third eye was the darker color. And I'm gonna take that on the outer edge and I'm using a small detailed brush for that. Oh, by the way, all these brushes are Spectrum Collection brushes. Again, cruelty free. So that's amazing. I'm only using all cruelty free today. And I'm just gonna take this color three quarters of the way in and then you just join it up with the color on top. So I'm just gonna go on that side again. You know what, let me have a little pop of color just on the inner corners of my lower lids. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the same family um, of colors. So I'm gonna go in with Meditate. Now, this is that one here. Lovely, sparkly, mid-toned pink, and it will just really pop the inner corners of my eyes. Just need to be a bit careful here because obviously this is not supposed to be a glammed up look. I'm supposed to be quite neutral, but you know what, just do a little bit. I just can't resist basically. I'm just gonna do a little bit because it just marries up nicely with all these colors here. And you see it just gives my eyes that little bit of a pop that's needed. Even though this is a nice neutral look, I still want to have a little bit more definition on my top lid. So I'm gonna take Ciate London's beautiful liquid pen, really detailed. I do love how thin this tip is. And I'm just gonna lift my chin like that and then just swipe the liquid on my lash line. Well, as close to my lash line as I can get. And that way it doesn't look too made up but it just gives a nice detailed effect. I might just do a quick little flick there, like that. And it just really just gives my eyes a little bit more definition. Okay, let me see if I can do the other eye while I'm talking to you. And again, Ciate London is cruelty free as well. I am so happy that a lot of brands now, especially the newbie ones, and especially the ones that aren't well known, have all decided to be cruelty free and not test on animals. It's amazing, well done, 
all these brands fantastic okay so i'm gonna go back in with ciato london i love them that much and i love 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 this mascara so this is their triple shot xxl mascara now my lashes are quite fine I think I've got quite a lot of lashes, but they're just fine. It's really weird because I'm quite a hairy person. So it actually doesn't make sense why my lashes are super fine. But this one is called Black XXL. It's got a lovely thick bristle. So you can see here. And I'm just going to swipe it onto my lash. And it just really helps to lengthen them. And especially for me, which I love, they thicken them because my lashes are super fine, as I said before, and it just really gives me that lovely, thick, long lash effect like that. Just gonna do the other side, and then I always like to do my lower lashes, of course. Just do the other side like that. And it just really gives me that sort of pretty dolly effect, which I'm after. See, it's perfect. I, I love it. Okay, I forgot to do eyeliner. Okay, I want my eyeliner quite soft. So I've decided to use a dark brown. Now, I hardly ever use a dark brown line. I'm always with black. But I'm going to use a Tropic Skincare. And they do, obviously, makeup. And they have a nice dark chocolate liner. And it's really soft. And again, they're cruelty-free brand and they have some wonderful ethical products you can check them out i will put a product list down underneath later on so you guys can have some clickable links if you want to check out all of the products quickly in one place okay so it's just literally giving me a beautiful soft eye effect so i don't want anything too too harsh Right, Fenty beauty time. I always need my Fenty in my makeup look. Don't know why I'm singing like that, but hey ho. Um, love their concealers. Love Fenty beauty. This one is 430 and it's their Pro Filter Concealer. Lovely liquid one. I'm only going to pop a little bit on just here. And then I'm going to use a nice squidgy sponge just to blend it through. I love Fenty, it is gorgeous and it's got some lovely textures and colours to their range. Rihanna really knew what she was doing when she came out with this range, do love it and it's just really light and natural and she has colours to suit everybody. I always normally go about three shades lighter because I've got quite dark eyes underneath quite dark dips so I like to lighten it up and it just really brings my face alive right what is next what is next okay I think I'm gonna pop a little bit of you know what let me go back with Fenty again I'm gonna go back with Fenty so I'm gonna use her match sticks they are amazing this one's in espresso um you can use it obviously as a concealer. They also have contour sticks and they've got highlighting creamy sticks. She's got a fantastic range of match sticks. Check her out. So this one's called Espresso. And I just like to swipe a little bit on my cheekbones like this. And then I'm going to do a bit on my temple like that. Now I'm always using these. Not only for contour, but I also like to use it for bronzing. So I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush and I'm just going to literally buff it into my skin like that. It just is a lovely and it glides on easily. So super simple to blend through as well. And the colours are fantastic. I do find it quite hard to find a decent bronzer. And I found my bronzer now through this Fenty matchstick. So obviously you don't only use it as a contour you can use it as a bronzer too and it just really gives my face some warmth and definition at the same time and it's just nice to just blend it through to the hairline for a nice seamless blend can you see it just really gives my face a nice warmed up effect lovely now sorry guys 
I think I'm going to be all fenty today. Just can't help myself. I actually just can't help myself. I just love this blusher. It's a beautiful, creamy blusher. This color is called Summertime Wine. This fenty color is amazing. It's a really pretty dolly girl effect. And I'm just going to smile. And it looks crazy because it's bright pink. But it just blends through so seamlessly. And it's so natural. It just really looks like your cheeks have been lovely and flushed and it's got a little sheen to it as well which is amazing I love it it's gonna do that side don't get scared of bright pinks when you're dark like me it actually looks fantastic on our skin tone okay so I am now going to do my lips now they feel a little bit dry so I'm going to put a little bit of balm on I'm gonna go in with tropics lip fudge lip plump and it's a gorgeous conditioner this one is called rosewood I'm just gonna swipe a little bit on and it's got a look mmm this smells delicious you know what it smells like Werther's toffees and I don't even like Werther's toffees but I like toffee and it's got a nice toffee smell and it feels really hydrating that's probably why it's called lip fudge I guess fudge toffee anyway <laughs> um, it's lovely and it gives a nice little high sheen as well to your lips okay now couldn't decide what a lipstick to do but before I do any lippy I'm gonna line my lips with Charlotte Tilbury's lip cheek now I'm so happy I found a dark chocolate that suits my skin tone. I was using another brand before, I'm not going to name them because they're not cruelty free, um, but Charlotte Tilbury is. And this lip cheat in what colour is this? So this one is called Pillow Talk Free Intense. So it's from her new Pillow Talk range and it's just a gorgeous chocolate shade. I love it. So I'm just going to line my lips quickly with this. So my lips are aligned, lovely chocolate shade. And I'm just gonna fill it in with Anastasia Beverly Hills. <laughs> Can't say that without doing, well, trying to do American accent. And this color is a lovely nudie pink and it's called Stripped. It's a wonderful color. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the center of my lips like that. Just gives it a nice ombre effect. Just swipe it in the middle and then I'm just going to press my lips together so it bleeds through to the lip liner and this actually helps especially if you don't want it to be too bright it helps just to bleed through to the chocolate and the chocolate dulls it down a little bit just going to press it together and swipe like that and it just gives it a lovely ombre effect it's really super simple to do and it's so effective and it just really helps to plump your lips up so if you've got quite small lips this is a good little tip for you okay I'm gonna go back in with Ciate London's lip oil I'm gonna put a little bit of a juicy glossy pout onto these lips here I could leave it like this but I want to be a bit more glossed up so this is their new range watermelon burst it is wonderful smells gorgeous just gonna pop a little bit onto my fingertips and I'm just gonna swipe it on my lower lip and just press through like that and it just really brings this color up it just looks delicious oh I mean it tastes delicious well, it tastes like watermelons but it just finishes off the look talking about finishing off the look let me finish this look off with a lot of London's illuminating setting spray lovely stuff cruelty free again Ooh, smells wonderful feels wonderful gives me that final hydration do you like my look I think it's complete thank you so much for watching if you'd like to see more looks like this please do like and subscribe and comment below have a good day